The education landscape has changed you know, drastically over the past 10 years with this idea of online learning that schools in the four walls are no longer the only option for students. And so there is school choice out there in so many different forms. And so parents and children now have the ability to be consumers of their own education. And we're really still at the forefront of that, but something that I think is going to rapidly expand where they're going to choose the options and things they want and how they feel the best way they learn. And so we are fortunate we're a district uh, that has the size and things right now to be able to look at having a fluid ability for a teacher to have students work from, you know, anywhere from 10% online to maybe 90% online, but every student could be at any point in between. Maybe it's 50-50 blended, you know, face-to-face -face versus online. Next kid 70-30, and next kid 30-70. Just how could we do that? And so, um, you know, I think it was a challenge to Michigan Virtual to say, okay, we're very much used to teaching teachers how to, you know, teach in blended classes, but we also are used to having our classes be 100% online with a, a teacher on the other end of it, but generally, you know, in another location, another place. How do we begin to search that happy medium, that place in between? And so far it's been a really strong success. We took those people that had gone through blended learning live and now having them work and having instructional coaching, that's the part that Michigan Virtual brings to the table that you know is missing. And so having that, that coaching and instructional design and putting all that together is so important. And really, you know, I felt for our district that Michigan Virtual was the only one that had the ability to bring that coaching and that element as well as the virtual content and bring it together and allow us to have our teachers be successful and not left out on an island to just try and you know, figure it out on their own. We are back on semesters this year. And so first semester with the blended, you know, I felt like I'm spoon feeding, I'm taking the kids through and the grades were eh, you know, getting there. Um, looking at my grades so far for this semester in that particular class, uh, the assignments are being met, they are being done, and, and the grades are wonderful. So I feel like the kids are, are comfortable now knowing that, they, hey, I can access this content. I know how to start to you know, get into Brightspace to find things and um, how to print the materials or find them for myself. So they are comfortable with it and they're meeting the challenge. When we talk about true career and college readiness, uh, we feel that our kids you know, are able to use digital tools to collaborate, you know, to do all of those things that are needed in the work environment. So we are really excited about when they move on, they're just as prepared again as a student in Metro Detroit, you know, or, or anywhere in the United States or world for that matter. We want a student from Alpena to be able to succeed, um, you know, in, in, in these things that are gig economies and these things for students to be able to work and live still, still here in Alpena, but maybe be able to work for a global company you know, and, and whatever it is they may choose. So we're excited about showing students that, having them have the skills and tools to move on doing that and, uh, and hopefully return and, and continue to help our area grow.